So for today, we'll look at this optimization problem. So the problem statement said, if x plus y plus z equals to 3, where all x, y, z are non-negative, you're asked to find the maximum value of the expression x square y plus y square z plus z square x. For most of the people, when they have this question, they'll think that the maximum value will happen when x equals to y equals to z, and in this case equals to 1, and therefore the maximum value is equals to 3. So they just try to find out how to prove that maximum value is 3. We can use various techniques to show this. Some will use Lagrange multiplier. When you use Lagrange multiplier, you actually get the point x equals to y equals to z equals to 1. However, the run multiplier cannot tell you whether this is a maximum point or minimum point. And surprisingly, the maximum value for this expression is not equal to 3. Please have a good try before you look at the answer. Pause the video now if you wish to solve it. Keep watching the video once ready. Now, I'll quickly demonstrate how to use the differential multiplier to get the so-called answer. And later on, at the end of the video, I'll explain why this answer is not correct. So using the branch multiplier, we should let this as f of x, y, z, and it is x square y, y square z, and z square x. So we differentiate f respect to x. So it will be equal to 2xy plus z squared. Differentiate f respect to y, then we will have 2yz plus x squared. Likewise, differentiate f respect to z, then we have 2zx plus y squared. On the other hand, we will let this as g x, y, z, and it is equal to x plus y plus z equals to 3. Differentiate g respect to x, it is 1. Likewise, differentiate g respect to y and z respectively, they all equal to 1. Using the method of Lorentz multiplier, we should have fx equals to lambda of gx, fy equals to lambda of gy, and fz equals to lambda of a g z. So in this case, this will equal to just lambda, lambda, and lambda. Now when we add everything here, then we have this is 3 lambda. And when we add everything here, you will see the x squared plus y squared plus z squared plus double of x y y z z x that is equal to x plus y plus z square and because the sum is equal to 3 and therefore this will equal to 9 and therefore lambda is equal to 3 and since each of these equals to 3 after we solve this system of equation then we will have a unique solution x y z has to be equal to 1 1 and 1 and since x, y, z equals to 1, 1, and 1, then the value of this expression will be equal to 3. However, as I said, this may not be the maximum value or the minimum value of the expression. The situation is just like one variable calculus. Let's say, let's say a function of h that is equal to x power 3 and is bounded by negative 1 and 1. From the graph, we know that it will be something like this. When it's 1, then this is 1, negative 1, then it is a negative 1. Okay? So when we do all this thing, we actually do something like differentiate it and let it be 0, then we will have x is equal to 0. However, h of 0 equals to 0 may or may not be the maximum or minimum value for the function. And in this case, we know that the maximum value will be at the boundary. Okay? So in order to check 
whether this is a maximum value or minimum value for the expression, we also need to check the boundary. So let's say you can check for what happened when z equals to zero and use the Lorentz multiplier again. And in that case, we actually will have the answer. We are not going to use the Lorentz multiplier again, but we will use rearrangement inequality and AMGM inequality. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. So recall for the rearrangement inequality, um, it says that if you have two set of a number, a1, a2, all the way to an, where a1 is greater than a2, greater than or equals to an, likewise for b1, greater than or equals to b2, greater than or equals to, all the way to bn. Okay, then you say that the summation ak, bk, where k equals to 1, to n, will be the maximum for the summation of a k and b pi k, where k equals to 1 to n. This pi k is actually the permutation of 1 to up to n. So meaning that <coughs> if you want to match a and b and take the sum of that, the maximum will be, take the maximum value of a, match with the maximum of b, and second maximum value of a to the second highest value of b, and so on and so forth. That will be a maximum of summation a, i, b, j. So for this question, without loss of generality, we will let x to be the largest value, followed by y, and followed by z. And they are all greater or equal to zero. And because of this, then we know that x is the highest value followed by y followed by z. And therefore, if we take a two term from x, y, z, it can be x, y, y, z, and z, x. So x, y will be the maximum value among these three followed by x, z, and the last one will be y, z. So x squared, y, plus y square z plus z square x it is actually equals to x times xy plus y times yz plus z times zx so this expression will be less than equal to x xy and y xz y xz and z y z we can factorize the y and we have x squared plus x z plus z squared of course this will be less than equal to y x squared plus double of x z plus z squared Okay, I add another x z and this will be equal to y x plus z squared. Next, we have to show that this expression will be less than or equal to 4. And now we are going to use AMGM inequality. So we consider y plus x plus z over 2 plus x plus z over 2 divided by 3. So there are three terms divided by 3. This will be greater than or equals to the product to the power of 1 over 3. And the product will be equal to y x plus z square over 4. And note that the left hand side is y plus x plus z and it is equal to 3 so this is actually equals to a 1 so 1 is greater than or equals to this term to the power of 1 over 3 and therefore power 3 for both sides and times 4 it means that 4 will be greater than or equals to y x plus z squared 
Okay, so this will means that this will be less than or equal to four. With this, we still can't say that the maximum equals to four. So where will equality holds? The equality holds if and only if y equals to z plus x over two. Y equals to z plus x over two. That is for the equality holds here. But the equality holds here, even only if x or z equals to zero. xz equals to a zero. Okay, so all these combined, then we know that the equality holds if and only if x, y, and z is equal to 2, 1, and 0. 2, 1, and 0. We substitute 2 here. 2 squared times 1, that is 4 times 1, 4. And z equals 0, this will be equal to 0. And therefore, the maximum indeed is equal to 4. This is actually a question from BMO some years ago. You may get the problem from the description below. That's all for today's lesson. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.